Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil 1 Remake. Said it right this time, haha. <laughs> okay, but yeah, welcome back. And where we left off, we had just gotten the map of the mansion, and... Yeah, now we're gonna go in here. This creepy little room of doom and gloom. The closet door is locked. Um... You get the key to the closet door if you beat the game once, which I do, but... I don't have it yet, it's in my item box. So once I get that key, I'll show you all the secret costumes in here. But I'm not gonna wear them, I'm just gonna stick with my normal costume. But I will show you the secret costumes. Just to show you them. Okay, but yeah, right now we don't have the special key, we will get it though. So let's just go back here. Will you take the dagger? Yes. Using defense items such as daggers will allow you to escape momentarily when grabbed by an enemy. However, you will not be able to escape when the enemy grabs you from behind. To equip a defense item, go to the status screen and then select the and select an item from the defense item menu. Then select the equip command. If your defense item mode is set to manual on the controller settings, you must press L button to use the defense item. Okay, so basically what that means is if like an enemy, like a zombie or something, grabs me and I have a defense item, she'll automatically use it, and you can tell that I have some by just looking near her hip, her buttocks, but, yeah, <laughs> um, so yeah, if a zombie tries to grab me, then she'll automatically use that, and I won't get hurt, so that's very useful, and what do you know, just for a little bit of practice, there's a zombie here now, hi zombie, we're gonna try to get past it without having to get, um, grabbed, but let's see, uh, I didn't make it, I fell, Sorry guys. Usually I do make that actually. Mm, whatever. Okay, now I just need to hurry, 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 hurry. Push this, push. Push Jill, push. Push Jill, push. Push, push, push. Oh my gosh, he's coming. He's coming. Okay, we're screwed. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna get up on here and equip my survival knife. Now time to cut you to pieces. Just so you guys can see this. Stop moving. I want you two people to see this. And yeah, there you go. He's dead. Okay, now... Let's see. Can we push this? We're gonna push this... Right back into place. Haha, ha, squished the zombie. Okay, well let's go through here now. You use the sword key. Okay. That's why I didn't come to over here while I go, because I knew I'd need the sword key. So I went and got that first. Various sculptures and bits of pottery. Interesting. Let's push this. And for the one that we use, we get another one to make up for it. The dagger. Yes, we will take that. You find those every now and then. Um, that was strange. I'll uh, keep going. La -de -da -de -da. Ooh, another cabinet. Let's push it. No, not that way, Jill. You gotta push it from the side. Pretty sure there's nothing behind this one. Is there? Nope, I was pressing A near it. No items. Okay, well, let's go through here now. Ah, close-up of Jill. Hello. Okay, enough of that. Let's go over here. Wait, Jill. Painting. A picture of the mansion against the setting sun. Hmm, that must be pretty. You use the lockpick. We don't want to go in there now, but we will go through there later. Let's go in here. This leads to a bathroom. Don't you just love bathrooms in survival horror games? I know I do. It looks like the water still works. Okay. Let's check the bathtub. It's full of dirty water. Yes, we'd like to remove the plug.
Yummy! Just threw up. Okay, well. We killed the zombie, that's good. Um. And now we get a dagger. Yes, we will take that. That's two daggers. It's good. Just keep collecting them. Okay, but yeah, um. This door right over here. We're not gonna go through it right now, but we will go through it later. So for now, let's just keep going this way. That's a close-up shot. Kind of cool camera view. Okay, can't check that picture, obviously. A picture of a knight mounted on a horse. Interesting. Okay, let's go through here now. through this door. Nothing interesting in there for the moment, at least. But there will be. Trust me, there will be. Dagger. Got another one. We have quite a collection going on. It's good. There are traces of something burnt. Wait. There are traces of something burnt here. An, an acrid smell permeates the air. Okay. Picture stands and bronze statues. There's nothing of interest here. Um, well posh silver pitcher. Okay, well what is of interest is this shotgun right here. We want it. Will you take the shotgun? Yeah, duh. Who wouldn't? Okay. Um, let's see. Yeah, that's it for this room, so let's go back out. Yeah, now we have the shotgun, so we have six bullets in it and six bullets in that little cartridge, so now we have 12 bullets in total. That's pretty good. And, oh gosh, what's happening? Yep, this is what happens when you try to take the shotgun. Oh no, it's gonna kill us. The door won't open. Crap, crap, crap. The door won't open. What are you gonna do, Jill? Oh god, what did I do now? something I wanted to check. Anyway, we should get back to searching for Wesker and Chris. Thanks, Barry. I owe you one. Don't mention it. Okay, well, thank God he was there. We would have been dead. I don't know why Jill busts at him, but whatever. Let's go through here now. We got a shotgun. <laughs> Which is good, because we can kill stronger enemies and blow zombies' head off. Zombies' heads off. Gosh, I can't talk today. It's locked. The Spencer family emblem is carved into the doorknob. Interesting. Um, it's locked. An emblem of an armor is carved into the lock. That's the kamikaze zombie. He's the one that if I shoot him, he'll explode. So, run! Jill, run! Go through here. Ooh, that was close. He can still do a lot of damage, and he runs, so that's not good. A picture of a woman praying in front of a large crowd. Zombie. Okay, we're gonna kill you, zombie. So get prepared to die. Um... Is he dead? I don't know, they don't bleed when they're on stairs, so that kind of sucks. Hmm. Okay, here's another zombie. Okay, 
guy. Run past you. Die! Haha. -ha. And that was strange. I blew his head off and he still spit acid out. Creepy. But whatever. I killed you. Haha. -ha. I win. Okay, another zombie. Come on, zombie. I'm gonna blow your head off with this shotgun. That was nicely done, I'd have to say. Well, you're dead. <laughs> okay, well, this area is now cleared. Let's go back downstairs. We need to go through here. This is our first save room of the game. Yes, from now on, we get save rooms and item boxes. Well, we got save rooms in Resident Evil Zero, but we never got item boxes, which kind of sucked. We just had to drop items on the ground. But in this one, oh no, we actually get save rooms where, um, where you can put stuff in the item boxes. And my, my item boxes are always organized. I usually organize it like this. Okay, um, that's the special key, the closet key. That's how we're going to open the closet and go in there and change costumes. Um, first aid spray. Actually, I like handgun. I mean, survival knife first, then handgun, then shotgun. I just, I, I like to get the weapons stronger and stronger and stronger as we go down. Right now, we're only up here. Um, first aid spray, um, goes up there. Basically, down here is all the, um, guns and ammunition. Up here is all the health and items. It's really simple. And then the keys, and there we go. Now, the stuff we'll be taking will be the handgun the two keys, and of course my increment, because we're about to have to save it. This item, um, will you take the fuel canteen? Yes, I will. Let's examine it. You can carry with you fuel to light a few times using a lighter. Okay, well we don't have any fuel in it right now, so let's refill it. There's still plenty of kerosene left. Yes, we want to refill our fuel canteen. You refilled your fuel canteen with kerosene. Okay. Um, what this does is if we have a lighter, now we can burn the zombies that need to be burned. And basically in this game, if you don't burn a zombie or blow its head off, then it's going to come back to life. And yeah, once it comes back to life, it's even stronger. So that's kind of a little new thing they added to this game, which is pretty cool. But this is the only one where they come back to life. So yeah, we're going to want to burn them. And that's why I was trying to get um, headshots, because that's even easier to do that. But yeah, that one that we left on the stairs, he's going to have to be burned to death. Poor thing. But, not right now, because we've done a lot. We need to save it. And, let's save it here. And plus, we're running out of time, so we need to save it anyway. We saved once, and we're in the mansion eastern stairs. Okay, well that's all the time we have now. But, on the next part, we will go outside, um... Burn that zombie, of course. Yes, I can't wait. We get to burn him. Don't want him to come back to life. Um, and we'll explore some more of the upstairs. And I think we're going to get a lot more heads blown off from zombies in the next part. If I use the shotgun correctly. But, yeah, we'll see. Okay, so see you next time, guys. Um, bye.